previously on Ward University. You've seen how your brother Jasper has changed since he met that Ryan Flint. How has he changed? He never calls for one. He didn't even come home for the summer. But mom and dad are sending him money every month. What is he spending it on? You're ruining your life, Jasper. And this might not mean anything to you, but you're still my best friend. How come you and Tia never, you know, hooked up? She's obviously begging for you to do her. So? How'd the date go? I need details. The grosser, the better. It was a disaster. We were having fun and everything, but I panicked. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Thorne Bailey, famous Del Sol Valley musician and Simi Award winner, is still on the run after the murder of Vanessa Zhang. I don't know if I can do this, Mom. What if I turn into him? You will never be like your father, S. I thought the whole point of taking you into my house was for you to keep an eye on my daughter. Me and Candy had a falling out. I'm pretty sure she doesn't want anything to do with me now. Are you sure this is a good idea? I never thought Laurie was a good match for Elphaba anyway. Candy, on the other hand, it's almost like the role was made for her. I had big dreams, and I knew Strangerville had no place for them. Also, Casey, I want my hair dryer back. I'm a full-on klepto. I've collected about 32 valuable items in the past weeks, and that's nothing. You should see my stash at home. What the fuck? This can't be real. I was supposed to be Elphaba. Candy didn't even audition for the part. It's not fucking fair. I'm sure it's just a prank, Lori. It wouldn't be the first time someone tried to mess with us. It's not a prank, Miss G. I just thought Candy would be more fit for the part, that's all. And Lori, you used to be playing Glinda. That's a very important role. <laughs> but not as important. Ugh, I can't believe this. Why can't I have this one thing? Why does she always have to take everything from me? What's going on? Like you don't know. What? Wait, there must be a mistake. That's what I said. Candy, Professor Mabry, I want you both in my office now. And Lex, you don't have anything to do with this, do you? No, it was all me. I knew this wasn't a good idea. Oh boy. Maybe it's not my weekend, but it's gonna be my year. I'm so sick of watching all the minutes pass as I go nowhere. And this is my I'm sorry, Professor. I truly am, but I don't understand why you would pick me instead of Lori. She wants this way more than I do. Just because you want something, it doesn't mean you should have it. Oh, is that so? Because more than anything, I didn't want my daughter to be involved in your class. First she decides to sing at the dance, and then this? At least now I know who's pulling her strings. <laughs> what? No, Professor Mabry had nothing to do with it. I wanted to sing. It was my idea. And that's why I chose you. Don't get me wrong, Lori is a great singer, but she's not like you. She doesn't have your passion. That night when I first heard you sing on that stage, I knew you were something special. Fine. If Candy truly is that special, she will sing in the musical. After all, being in the musical is not the same as a full-on music career, is it? I was in a couple musicals myself in my early days. This might be a learning experience for my daughter after all. Oh, Miss Ward, I'm so glad to hear that. I promise you won't regret- But you're fired. You have until Thanksgiving to clean out your office. What? This is bullshit. She didn't do anything. It's okay, Candy. I knew this would happen. This school's always been too small for me anyway. And I needed to do this. 
I wanted to do the right thing. You were born for this candy. I was born to play Elphaba? You were born to sing. Never let anyone tell you otherwise. Are we done yet? I'm getting tired of this nonsense. Call me if you ever need to talk, okay? I'm so tired of that brat. She always gets her way. I heard Professor Mabry is getting fired, though. At least there's something to celebrate. Serves her right. You were so robbed. <laughs> and you know what the worst thing is? I'm sure Judith Ward will blame me for this. Why would she? Well, she always knew her daughter wasn't that bright. That's why she took me in, so I could take care of her. <laughs> because Candy can't do anything by herself. So what? You're like, a maid? No, no, not a maid. More like a life coach. My life coach told me I shouldn't drink milk because it makes me gassy. <laughs> Good advice. Why don't you ask your life coach what I should do if Judith kicks me out of her house? That's easy. You can just go back to your parents' house. I'm sure it's way fancier than Judith's. <laughs> yeah, right. But what if I don't want to? Then maybe you have to find something to convince her. Famous people always have carbs in their closets. You mean skeletons? Carbs are way scarier, Lori. Keep up. <laughs> so you're saying I have to find some dirt on her? I guess I could do that. And we're going home for Thanksgiving soon, so that's going to be a great opportunity to dig through her stuff. But I don't know. What if she catches me and I get in trouble? I would need someone to do the dirty work for me. Oh, I know someone who's perfect for the job. <sighs> May, I thought we had a deal. I don't bring my friends in our room if you don't bring yours. So, long story short, I'm spending Thanksgiving at Judith Ward's mansion. How the fuck did that happen? Just plain dumb luck. Doesn't sound like luck to me. Wouldn't you rather be spending it with your family? Oh, Fatima. Always so old-fashioned. Who cares about family when you get to eat the fanciest Thanksgiving dinner in Del Sol Valley? But why would Kennedy and Lori invite you? Are you sure they're not trying to trick you or something? Ah, don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. And no, I'm not going to tell you why I'm going there. This is a top secret mission, and I'm a professional. Ignore her, Erica. She's just taking the piss. Oh, am I? Secret missions aside, what are you all doing for Thanksgiving this year? I'm just gonna spend it alone with my dad, like every year. Let's just hope he's in a good mood. I need to see if I can convince Jasper to come home with me. I mean, he did say he wasn't coming the first two times I asked him, but third time's a charm, right? Let me know if you need any help with that. I can be very convincing. Thanks. But, I kind of want to do this alone, for once. Hey, Cleo. How's it going? Fine. Good. Me too. Can we... can we talk for a sec? I don't know, can we? Oh, <laughs> snap. What do you mean? Last time I saw you, you were having a mental breakdown in the middle of our date. And then you left me there, without any explanation whatsoever. And I haven't heard from you since! Not even a text! And it's been days, Ezra! I was worried sick! It's not like anyone forced you to go out with me. You could have just said no if you weren't interested. I'm sorry. I won't bother you again. Hmm, that went well. Hey, Jazz! Oh, hi. Look, I already told you. I know, I know. You're not coming home for Thanksgiving. I'm sorry, but you know how mom is. She always knows when something is up. I mean, I'm pretty sure she'd be so excited to see you, she wouldn't even notice if your head was missing. <laughs> you might have a point. They miss you so much, Jazz. It would mean the world to them if you came to see them. I'm not saying you should stay for a whole week if you don't want to, but maybe a couple of days? How does that sound? 
Um, I don't know. And I'm sure you don't want to throw your little sister under the bus like that. Wait. Where's Jasper? Why didn't he come home with you, Erica? You should have convinced him. Did you not tell him anything? What is he hiding? Why isn't my baby boy coming back to me, Erica? Oh my god. You are the worst. So, are you coming? Fine. But only for a couple of days. Yes, I promise. It's going to be great. Just like when we were kids. I gave another look Cause I don't want to cry I've never been too serious across another line I fell into the woods I do it all the time I've never been too serious But I will never die Say my name because I'm leaving that behind. I've never been too serious, I'm always getting high. I look inside a world, the one that I will never find. I've never been too serious, but I will never lie. Open your wallet, show me what's in. in there what do you call it when you've got a blank stare I've never been too serious I've never been too serious I'm home. Oh, good. Can you get the... Shit, something's burning in the oven. Uh, home sweet home. Hello? Stainfield household. I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Stainfield, but it seems like your last payment didn't go through. The landlord's been very patient so far, but you're two months late on the rent already, and a third month would result in an immediate eviction, I'm afraid. It's okay. I'm sure it was some kind of misunderstanding, and we'll get him the money as soon as we can. Of course. As long as you're not late on any other bills. I'm sure we're not. Everything seems to be... working. Are you kidding me? Did you pay the electric bill? I'm just a couple of days late. For fuck's sake, they can't just- It's okay. I'll go get some candles. This turkey is inedible. We'll need to order out. I was craving Chinese food anyway. Hey guys, I'm here. Wait, where's Nadine? I thought he'd be here. He says he's sorry. Last minute plans with his parents. That sucks. And his parents are jerks. Why would he make plans with them?
Sorry I'm late. I thought someone would pick me up at the station. Fatima, you're here. That I am. I'm sorry we couldn't come get you. I was making dinner and lost track of time, and your dad was busy entertaining our guests. Our guests? I must have told you about it. I'm pretty sure you didn't. Oh, don't be silly. Now come and say hi. Nadim is very excited to meet you. Oh my god, I've missed your cooking so much, Mom. I mean, I'm not saying I don't like the food in the cafeteria. The fish and chips is so good, but I wouldn't say the food is the best part of the school. You know what I mean? Oh, that has to be Fatima. I already told you about Fatima, right? I can't wait for you to meet her. You would love her. She's so calm and collected all the time. I don't even know how she does it. And she's my best friend. But I have other friends too, and they're all amazing. Like Cleo is super pretty and kind, and Casey is the coolest girl I've ever met. And Tia, Tia's a little scary actually, but I'm pretty sure she has a crush on Jasper. And then there's Raymond. Of course he's- So Jazz, how's it going at school? I've been meaning to get in touch with your professors, but your dad wasn't very fond of the idea. I didn't want to talk to them behind your back, son. I just thought if something was wrong, I'd rather hear it from you. Everything's fine. And I'm pretty sure Erica was talking. Oh, it's okay. I'm always talking anyway. And we wanted to hear from you, honey. We haven't seen you in months. Jasper, your mom's a little worried about you. You were always a bright student ever since you were a kid. And... We always knew you were destined for greatness. It was hard to see you leave for school, but we knew it was for the best. We knew you would make us proud, and we hoped you'd keep us updated in your progress, like you always did before. I miss the days when you would come home from school and tell me everything about your day. There is nothing to tell, okay? School's okay. I'm okay. Can you just let me eat in peace now? That's, uh, no way to talk to your mom, Jasper. So not only are you forcing me to talk, now you want to tell me how to talk as well. We're just so confused, honey. You were never just okay before. We're so used to hearing all sorts of incredible things about you. Your professors used to be so proud. They called you a child prodigy. Well, I'm not a prodigy. I'm not destined for greatness. Is that what you want to hear? Jasper? No. You wanted me to talk? Let's talk then. What do you want me to say? That I'm the best student in my class? That I got straight A's from the moment I stepped foot in that school? Because it's not the truth, you know? I'm decent. I'm okay. Mediocre at best. Just like everybody else. Hey buddy, what's up? You hungry or something? Thought I filled your bowl like two hours ago. Oh, yeah, I know. Don't worry, she's going to be fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. Hello? Hey, Gideon. I need you to do me a favor. Any chance you have some weed left from your stash? And can we meet up at school in a few hours? Sorry, Jazz. This is really not the time. My mother's passed out on the couch, and I need to make sure she doesn't puke in her own mouth or something. Besides, I don't think I have any left. Try calling Ryan, though. I'm sure he'll be glad to see you. What are you doing? I'm leaving. I thought you were going to stay for a couple days at least. Well, I'm not. I can't take it anymore. Our parents are fucking insane. Every second I'm with them, I want to just ugh, rip my face off or something. But they love you so much. You're their whole world. That is not love, Erica. 
It's idolization. And you have no idea of how good you have it. Sure, it sucks that they're always ignoring you and talking over you. But do you honestly think that I'm doing better? They've been putting me on a pedestal since the day I was born. And the thing about pedestals is, little sis, it is so fucking easy to fall. I'm sick of their so-called love. I'm sick of their unrealistic expectations. I've never had the options to just fail for once in my life. And this is where it's got me. I'm the failure that they've never expected me to be. And I can't handle it. I just can't. I'm supposed to have my whole life ahead of me and I've hit my peak already. Do you know what that feels like? Remember the time mom and dad brought us on vacation in Sulani? What does that got to do with anything? We found this beautiful waterfall and we would play in the water and we were so happy. But then you wanted to know what was on the other side. You're always like that. Always wanted to know what was next. I was too scared to come with you. And when I saw you disappear behind the water, I... I just froze. As I waited for you to emerge, I had this horrible thought in my head that I would never see you again. I was so relieved when you came back. And that's how I feel right now. It's like I'm waiting for you to come back through that waterfall all over again. So, Fatima, uh, how was your trip back home? Everything good? Yeah, it was okay. Not as long as I remembered. You know Nadim is studying computer science in Brightchester? And I hear he's doing very well too, yes? That's great. It's nothing. Really. And it's a distinguished degree as well. That would definitely give him an extra advantage when it comes to looking for a job, won't it? Yeah, yeah, I guess it will. Your, your cooking is incredible, Mr. Antar. Are Fatima and Nadim getting married? That's it. I'm out of here. Casey, is it? I hope you're enjoying your dinner. Mm, this turkey is amazing. Please tell your underbred cook I'm gonna need the recipe for this. <laughs> mm. Will do. How do you and Candy know each other exactly? We met her when we were taking dance classes for the musical. Oh, and she's May's roommate too. What's wrong, Mom? Are you not happy about having guests? I just wasn't expecting it, that's all. Well, I did expect you to bring Ryan, that's for sure. I know his parents aren't home, and I was looking forward to meeting him properly. It's sad that he has to spend Thanksgiving on his own. I wouldn't mind trading places with him. Why do you always have to be like this? I'm just trying to make some conversation. There's no reason to jump down my throat. some mashed potatoes.
but... Uh, it's Nadine. May I come in? Mom's letting boys inside my room now? That's a new one. Look, I... I'm sorry about tonight. I had no idea this was gonna happen. Okay, yeah, maybe I had some idea, but... I just wanted you to know I really have nothing to do with this. I'm not looking to get married or anything, so... So you don't have to worry about me. What about your family? There must be a reason why they brought you here. Yeah... I'm sorry. It's okay. It's not like I didn't see it coming. Hey, do you want to, like, stay in touch? Maybe? Because I have a feeling this might not be the last time they do this, and I'd like to have a friend around when it happens. Tell me more about this band of yours. There's not much to say. We're still looking for a singer. I mean, you might have found one, but we'll have to see if she's interested. I'm just so excited to hear you're putting yourself out there. I was scared you might be a little lonely. You do have a bad habit of shutting people out of your life, after all. I guess I was lucky enough to find people who are hard to get rid of. That's nice to hear. And you haven't spoken to anyone about, well, who your father really is? I don't want anyone to know. I don't want to be associated with them for the rest of my life. I want my failures and my successes to be my own, if that makes sense. It does. Now finish your dinner before it gets cold. Hurry up! What are you standing there for? Relax. The concert won't start for two hours. But we need to get in line if we want to be in the front row. And that's a big if. Come on! Why do you always have to be so grumpy? It's Thorn Bailey's first concert in ages. The event of the century. And you're really telling me you don't give a crap? I guess I've never been a fan. See? I told you it was going to be crowded as hell. Follow me. I don't want you to get lost. You're so tiny. I'm not going to get lost. And I'm not tiny. Of course not. Good evening, everyone. Damn, I sure didn't expect there to be so many of you. I'm flattered, really. You know my wife, Octavia. She's sitting over there, by the way. Give her a round of applause. You see, she's been asking about my big comeback for years now. And I kept telling her, Honey, you can't rush a genius. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding! <sighs> anyway, I have a couple new songs that I can't wait for you to hear. But I thought I should start with a classic first. This is one of my all-time favorites. God, I love this song. Thank you. 
thanks for coming to the show with me, Ez. You know, you're actually pretty cool. Why do you have to sound so surprised? Can't you just take a compliment for once? Can't you just give me a compliment that isn't backhanded for once? <laughs> and where's the fun in that? I never thought I'd say this, but I actually can't wait to go back to school. I swear, I'm gonna puke if I have to hear my mom talk about her new boyfriend one more time. At least she talked to you. My family's never been so silent. Well, I heard them talking as soon as I left the table. So they're still talking to each other, I guess. I really don't get your parents. Why do they have to be such assholes all the time? Well, they've never been the warmest of people, but things have gotten way more tense since my last phone call with my sister. So you got it from them. What do you mean? You were pretty cold with Ezra the other day. Oh god, I know. That was so awful. I can't stop thinking about it. He looks so hurt. He's never gonna talk to me again, is he? It really didn't sound like you wanted him to. I was just so angry and disappointed. I, I mean, he waited so long to even acknowledge my existence, and you have no idea how hard it was for me to ask him out. And when he said yes, uh, it was the best feeling in the world. I never thought someone like him could be interested in someone like me, you know? So what happened, exactly? I have no clue. I thought we were having fun, and, and then he ran away all of a sudden. It was horrible. I tried calling him. I thought it was my fault, and, and probably was. I mean, what if I did or, or said something wrong without even noticing? Have you even considered the possibility of this having nothing to do with you? I know he took his sweet time, but he did try to talk to you. I just thought he wanted to break things off, and, and... Not that there was anything to break, but why else would he want to talk to me after what happened? <sighs> Maybe try waiting for him to actually speak next time. Oh god. Oh, I'm such an idiot! What if you're right? I probably am, as always. I'm sorry you have to deal with me, Tia. You're a saint. And you never tell me about yourself. I don't even know if you like someone. That's a conversation for another time. I have to go. But- What the hell are you doing here? I know it sounds bad, but... I need a ride to Ryan's house. You've got to be fucking kidding me. You really think I'm going to drive you all the way to Del Sol Valley for... For what? You need to get high, don't you? God, and to think for a moment I actually thought you wanted to spend some time with me. But I do. I do, Tia. I could have just taken my parents' car if I wanted. But... 
I didn't want to go alone. I, I know how messed up I am. And the thought of being alone with Ryan is frightening. I just needed to be with someone I can trust right now. In case you need to be rushed back to the hospital? So you can keep me in check? You can't impose that responsibility on me. It's not fair. I know. I know it's not fair and it sucks and I suck for asking you that. But I need to get away from this place and some weed. But I'm scared I might get something more than just weed if no one's there to check on me. You're not a child, Jasper. Oh, I'm aware. And I had way more self-control when I was a child. Ugh, fine. I'll do it. But for fuck's sake, Jasper, you need help. And I mean real help. Professional help. I can't always be there for you, and it's not my job either. I know. And I'm sorry. This is not what I expected. I mean, it's awfully quiet. Way more than I thought it would be. Didn't you say his parents aren't home? What? You thought he was going to throw a house party on Thanksgiving? Everyone is with their families right now. Are you actually trying to make me feel bad for Ryan Flint? Because that's not going to work. Oh, yeah. I can see that. Jazz, it's so good to see you, man. And you're Tia, right? Jasper's told me so much about you. Has he now? It's only good things, though. Welcome to my humble abode. Are you sure you know what humble means? Oh, you should see my father's penthouse in San Mushino. Sorry, I got nothing to offer you guys. My fridge is basically empty. Should I call for takeout? I think we're both stuffed from dinner. Well, I'm hungry, and a slice of pizza is not going to kill you. So with coin on hand, his joy came back when ordered to take the shore. Why on earth has he wanted the warmth of my obeying this coin? Turn your life on the flip of this coin. Turn upside a choice you normally avoid. You know, Tia's actually pretty cute. How are things between you two? I mean, are you dating or... I thought you were seeing Candy. What does Candy have to do with this? She's not here. And I was thinking maybe you could put in a good word for me. If you're not interested in her, of course. I'd never do that to a friend. Yeah, we're dating. That's a bummer. Anyway, I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. I'm actually all out of weed today. What? Can't be serious. I know. I'm just as surprised as you. But there's still some leftover coke if you want it. No, no, no. That's that's not gonna happen. Not in front of Tia. There's a reason why bathrooms exist. She's not dumb. She's gonna figure out something's wrong. Oh come on. There's no way she's gonna notice. She acts all tough, but I bet she's never had a single spliff in her life. But it's your choice. Sure, you can totally stay sober for a night. Staggers back to his dad, who's too cool to be. So he says, Why don't you have me follow the stupid rule, please? Turn your life on the flip of this coin. Turn upside the choice you normally avoid. Where the hell were you? God, now I know why you didn't want to be alone with Ryan. I thought Gideon was creepy, but that dude is... <sighs> something else. What did he do? Nothing. He... he's just kind of off, you know? There's something in the way he talks. His voice sounds like melted butter, but not in a good way. What's up with you? You look... fidgety. Let's get out of here. I need some air. But it's freezing outside. The view makes up for it. Come on. Don't tell me Tia Frost is scared of a little bit of cold now. No one knows what it's like. You and me. You and I. Beautiful.
beautiful out here. I wonder if I'll ever get to own a place like this. Growing up, I always saw myself as one of those successful artists, but now I don't really, I don't really know anymore. The competition is fierce. It is nice, but I'm not sure. I can't imagine myself living here. This house is too big and too empty. And I don't think success should be measured by the amount of fame or things you own. You know, Tia, I really miss hanging out with you. You're the only one who can get my head on straight. Well, I'm flattered, but... Wait, why did you do it? I, I thought you wanted this. Did you? I... I... See, this is what I hate about you. You never think about the consequences of your actions. You just do shit and hope for the best. You don't even know what you want. I know what I want. Oh yeah? Cause you seem to be obsessed with candy until a few weeks ago. You don't like me, you just like how I make you feel. How is that any different? You're unbelievable. Look, Tia. I know I messed up. But I was never in love with candy. And I do like you, and I know that now. I just never considered the possibility of us being together because I didn't think I was enough for you. I didn't think you could ever like me back. But then Gideon- You're taking relationship advice from Gideon now? Nice plan, see how that works out for you. Wait, you're high, aren't you? Like, hi, hi. Is that what you were doing in the bathroom? I thought you were only gonna smoke some weed. I can't believe this. You have no idea how long I've waited for you to kiss me, and this is how you do it? And you know what the worst part is? I feel like I deserve this. Serves me right for believing in you. I'm the kid in the rain, celebrate the insane, it never goes my way, take a shot and fall short, I don't get the support, but I guess that's just life. Oh, what do we have here? I 